All right, I'm in my room. I'm in my room because um, she's mad at me, so <sighs> they don't want to hang out in the living room. I'm just kind of avoiding her right now. If looks could kill, I think I would have been chopped up like 500 times probably by now. I made her feel bad. And my mom is not one to apologize. And when she does apologize, it's quite dramatic. I mean, you thought mommy dearest? You think Joan Crawford should have got an award? She'd see my mom. Freaking Golden Globe. Yep. <laughs> stressed out because my mom and I got into it and like she's just so angry at me what happened was you know you know how I told you it's not easy to live with your mom sometimes because she does all my things I mean sure she's so helpful but she does it the way she wants it and you know you have your own way of doing things so like she ruined my clothes you know and stuff like that because she does my laundry I don't hang my clothes okay well let me, let me tell you the story. So what happened was, basically, she was standing here, okay, with my laundry. And I told her before that I do not put my clothes in the dryer, okay. And she's like, oh, I don't do that. I don't do that. And, you know, don't get me wrong, guys. I really, really appreciate that she's been doing my laundry for how long. But my clothes don't last. They fall apart. She, she puts all my T-shirts in my closet when I have a drawer to put my t-shirts. So my drawer is full of all kinds of hangers in all different shapes and sizes just because she just hangs them all up on all kinds of hangers and puts them anywhere. So I kind of wear the same clothes every week because I don't know where my clothes are. I give up trying to organize everything and make it color coordinated because she just puts everything wherever she wants to. And what happened was, you know, she was standing, I, I saw her in the morning walk away with a handful of laundry. Right? So I thought, okay, cool, right? So she goes and does my laundry. So she walks away with a handful of laundry. Then later on in the afternoon, I'm talking to her, and she's standing there holding clothes. And um, one of them is this blouse I just bought. And I don't know if it's something you wanted to put in a dryer. But there's no way the thing dried that quick. So I looked at her, and I said, did you put that in a dryer? And she's like, honey, honey, like, guilty, right? And it, she's already looking at me like, what? What, what, are you going to say something to me? Or something like, Mom, you know, that's absolutely going to dry. She's like, oh, oh. And I said, you know, Mom, you know what happened to me? I, I said, you know, if, if you can, Mom, just, just, I, I can't do my own laundry. I really, and she's like, what? You know, she's getting mad. I'm like, so it's really hard to say anything to her because she gets really upset really fast. And she makes a scene and starts to make you feel really guilty. Like, she's crying, like. Okay, what are you supposed to do when someone does that? I was like, mm, it's okay. That's okay. It's okay. What's you supposed to say? Right? Tell me. Tell me. I mean, it's really, really hard. So, my dress, you know, I'm at work and my girlfriend, she goes, Oh, Nikki, you know, is that a dress supposed to be like that or whatever? You know, my friend says, is your dress supposed to look like that? Kind of caught me off guard. And I'm like, did I do that to the dress? I was so confused because sometimes I hack my clothes, right? But I'm like, hmm, I don't remember doing anything like that. So anyway, inside of the dress, the slip part is the right size, length. But the outside shrank about that much. So I was walking, you, you guys saw that dress, right? So I'm going to show it to you guys. So I was walking with this dress. See this? See, see the difference? You guys see the difference of the slip? See? It's the difference of this. So this is what was happening. It's sticking out. Longer than the dress. I went to work like this. 
I went to work like that and someone said oh I just oh my god I was just so in shock like what are you talking about oh my goodness I mean I was speechless like are you serious I'm wearing this at work I'm wearing this at work how's that oh my gosh so that's what happened and all my clothes are everywhere like like I told you I have hangers this kind of hangers in here that's I don't know this doesn't seem to match um, just just everything and anything anywhere you know and, and, and don't get me wrong again don't get me wrong I, would, I, I really really appreciate her but it doesn't really help when they're not doing uh, what you usually would do right so I really just rather her just take care of herself you know because what happened was basically Taylor came home and he was kind of mad at me right I don't know what I did but he was kind of mad because someone took his laundry out of the dryer, put it in his hamper, just put it in his room. And he felt that his clothes are dirty. It wasn't me, so we know it was my mom, right? That's right. I'm doing my own laundry, finally. It's a little bit more work, but I think I'd rather do it this way. also and when I have to tell her that you know she gets so upset she gets so upset I wonder if I'm like that probably like that what I did last night so embarrassing right so Brian went to Virginia and he went to North Carolina last time and he didn't bring me scratch cards and all I wanted was scratch cards or like a lottery ticket because in Hawaii we don't have stuff like that so it's very exciting for us right for, for me and um, he just didn't say anything. So I just thought he was like super selfish. And I was kind of mad. And then last night, oh gosh. So I was kind of like, kabut is what I say. It's like, like, and he's like, what? What's wrong, right? And I said, you, you just don't care, you know? You didn't bring me any tickets and all I wanted was, and he's like, what? What do you mean? And I'm like, getting mad because he's not sympathetic to what I'm saying, right? You know how that goes. And anyway, I just threw a tantrum saying, I just think you don't care, and yada, 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 yada. And I walked in the house, and he sat out here all by himself at a beach drink last night. And, and um, he was going to Japan today, so he went to Japan this morning. That's why we had a drink today. And then um, later on, I, I told him, do you want like a cheese sandwich and he's like yeah yeah I want a grilled cheese sandwich so I was gonna make a grist I said I said so do you want to apologize to me or something it'd be really nice if you apologize and just for what said, well you know for talking to me like that like talking to you like what I go like you don't care and he got up he said oh yeah you got not care you got not care really you want your, he's like, you want your pee, 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 scratch cards? Really? And he got up and threw it on the bed. Take your scratch cards. It was your Christmas present. I was like, so speechless. I was just, so, not a heart, a zero. Okay. So unappreciative, I saw <laughs> But come on, some of you been there, right? So embarrassing. So, so embarrassing. So, sometimes I worry that this laundry thing is the same thing. Am I just overreacting? Or do you guys think it's okay for me to have asked not to do my laundry? I mean, what would you guys do? Huh? I mean, what do you guys do? I mean, I guess I would feel bad as a mom, right? I mean, if my kid told me if the shoe was on the other foot, 
But I mean, she's the kind of person where um, you cannot go in her room. We got to go in the room when she was sick. But usually you cannot pass that door with me. Ask my brother. We're kids, I mean, come on, she had a dead boat on the door. I'm not kidding, Key. She worked at night. He didn't trust us. I wouldn't have trust us either, but should I feel guilty? I always feel guilty. I don't know what would you guys have done, but I mean, oh, where's that boundary of trying to hold your own, but yet let your elderly parent have their space? You know, without making them such a bad laundry person. I gotta have to do something better. Like what would you guys do? So heavily confused, and I'm not very good at this kind of stuff. I always gotta look for answers, you know, I always gotta be fair or try to be fair. Take a throw white in there now, it looks great. This is botchy for the whole lot. <laughs> so basically, guys, really. It would be really nice to hear from you guys what you guys would do in my situation, you know. I really, really want a good relationship, but maybe I just got so much resentment. Maybe I'm just really exhausted, you know. I think part of it what's hard is like, um, I feel like I can't go anywhere right now uh, because of my responsibility. Um, we were standing there the other day and I was like, well, you know, I would love to have this kind of job, you know. Then if I get into a job, like this kind of customer service job, I can just do this till I'm like 70 years old or something, you know, keep myself busy. My mom's like, well, why don't you go apply for something like that now? And I look there and I'm like, well, because I can't because I got to keep my schedule open for you. And I thought about it, and I know that's probably been bothering me for years. I mean, sometimes I feel like I got the... Um, all the responsibility where I feel like I can't go on a trip. I mean, I'd like to see my dad, you know, he's getting old. I'd like to show face. I feel a little bit, okay, so part of it is yes, you know, I think about Kuma because I'm going to miss him too much. But I mean, the other part of me is um, I feel guilty. I mean, who's going to do the shots? Who's going to watch her? I mean, nobody can watch her. I mean, my husband's no good at that. I know that Taylor, he's too busy for that. It's all on me. Not, not, you guys, don't get me wrong, it's not that I don't want to, I mean, I kind of have to, right? I mean, back in the day I wanted to move, but I couldn't because she told me, how could I just move, wait till at least she dies? You know, and I kept thinking this number 70-something means she's going to be 90-something years old. I was 70-something when I finally can do some things that I want to do. I feel like I'm torn every time I go out and do something, I feel like I'm guilty. I really don't know. I, I, I'm torn between, am I really selfish by thinking all those things? Or am I a little bit mad inside? I feel like I got the short end, you know? Um, sometimes I feel that way. I would like to have the home to myself. It would be nice, you know, for like a day or two. I never get to. Everyone else gets to but I never get really my own time alone you know, I can do whatever I want. I don't know. I'm so sorry, guys, if I come across selfish or stuff. But you know, during the holidays, it's one thing about the holidays, too. I think it also brings out some of the blues, you know, in people. You start reflecting, because I guess the holidays is something, because from what I recall that I read is that our memory is just a playback of the last time we remembered it, or the subject, I guess. And so, I guess if we remember these things every holiday, it's going to stick in our head every, because we think about it every year, right? So I guess that's the time we probably reflect on a lot of things in our life, who are happy, not happy, where we are, you know, just stuff, just stuff, yeah. Anyway, I better go. Got to get all this laundry done. Obviously, I really don't have enough practice because she's taking over, right? So I'll see you guys later. Okay, give me a thumbs up. And those of you who haven't, don't forget to subscribe. You guys have a good uh, Sunday, and I will see you next week.